homes for sale this week, and homes are going under contract almost as quickly. It's Friday, October 7th, 2022. I'm Kimberly Barton of Kinetic Realty, your local market expert with this week's Annapolis Real Estate Report. You need to know what the local market is doing, so be sure to subscribe for weekly updates. Homeowners today have more financial strength than they have had since 1983. This is a combination of how homeowners have handled equity since the crash and rising home prices over the last two years. According to Deputy Chief Economist at First American Odetta Kushi, Homeowners had an average of $320,000 in inflation-adjusted equity in their homes by the second quarter this year, an all-time high. This indicates that the equity in the majority of homes rose higher than what may be owed. So, if a homeowner needs to sell, it is likely that they have enough equity in the home to sell the home and still put money into their pocket instead of allowing the home to go to foreclosure. In Annapolis, inventory rose to 130 homes for sale, with two of those being distressed. 42.3% of active sellers have made price adjustments. Let's review what the inventory did this past week. 13 homes are coming soon. 27 homes came to the market since last week, rising again. 14 homes went under contract, another rise. Three homes are temporarily off. Eight homes went pending. 37 homes sold. These sold in seven days at 100% list to sold ratio. The highest sale this past week sold for $3 million in the Eastport area of Annapolis. Rental inventory rose to 34 homes for lease at $2,900, listed at an average of 17 days. Thinking about moving, you should feel confident about buying or selling a home. My job as the expert is to provide you with the facts, data, and information, and then bring context to it for you. Call me and let's talk. That's a wrap for this week's Annapolis Real Estate Report for Friday, October 7th. 2022. Thanks for tuning in. Until next week, be kind.